top of the morning to you. Um, whenever I grow my facial hair really bigger, it turns really red, and then I like to pretend I'm Irish. Last name's Doherty, so I mean, yeah, Irish. Okay. <laughs> um, what I want to talk about um, this morning, very quickly, is about addictions. Um, my coworker and I were talking about it the last couple of days, um, and she just kind of straight up asked, "Well, is there nothing?" supplement wise that can at least help with that and there is and we're going to mention that however um addictions is it's a neural pathway um every time so i mentioned before when you go to bed whatever you think about throughout the day the brain is actually reconstructing and rewiring its neurons and its pathways because it believes that that's the life you chose it was going to help you out it's going to try to make the brain um develop in a way that suits your lifestyle and that's why there's a famous quote that I love. It basically says, if you don't use your brain and make your life the way you want it for you, the brain will do it for you and it's not gonna be a good life because it's not really true what it is that you're seeing and want. So first and foremost, what I'm trying to say here is that it always comes down to willpower, free will and willpower. If the person themselves that's going through any type of addiction, this could be from drugs to alcohol to any other, to gam- anything, okay? They have to want to stop or to get better with certain things. So that's number one. So let's just pretend that a person is in that place. They've hit rock bottom because it usually takes an event or something to really open up their eyes and make them go, holy, this is not what I want to be doing. I need to change. And when that happens, change in the brain can happen instantaneously. Sometimes people think it takes years of constant affirmations and things to make a sudden change. No, it takes years to get you to that point to want to change. The change happens instantly when it's time. Um, so the first thing with that is lobelia and golden seal are two herbs that really work to feed the brain the right nutrients uh, to help rewire those pathways of addiction. Lobelia and golden seal, those are first and foremost. Um, they work even better with heavier drugs that people want to try to uh, get off of. Lobelia and golden seal. However, a high mineral complex is very needed when trying to rewire the pathways or help somebody get off of an addiction substance. Um, it's almost like uh, the pica stuff when pe- uh, you hear dogs or people that just create dirt and minerals and stuff. It's because they crave and they need that substance in their system. Um, but when you take all the minerals like Empower Plus or we used to have a product called Life uh, Essentials, a high spectrum mineral content, you flood the body and the neuro- neurons and the pathways with minerals, there's a very higher, less chance that you will need to, the person will need that craving of them which brings me back to the next thing is the craving chromium chromium feeds the pancreas it's also a type of uh um mineral that feeds the neurons in the brain neurons in the brain are electricity boom think of spark plug no spark car's not going to work that type of chromium it's called gtf chromium glucose tolerance factor chromium that type actually fuels the neurons in the brain so when you Give them minerals, you give them lobelia and golden seal. Remember, they're already at the stage where they want to make this change, so the pathways are forming. The chromium is the one that comes in and says, stop the cravings, stop the cravings, stop the cravings. It works very well for just sugar addictions. Someone just can't stop eating sore ice cream, right? It's not itself, things like that, but also for heavier substances that change the pathways, okay? Lobelia, golden seal, minerals, chromium. So. Again, chromium will most likely be in a mineral complex. So it's like you have to take a bunch of things, but you got to make sure that the chromium is in there. It's a central key for this. The biggest one is dopamine. And you can get dopamine naturally from supplementing with L-tyrosine. L-tyrosine helps produce the neurotransmitter, which is known as the happy pill, into dopamine. Now, two things with this. Number one, the happy pill. Somebody who's addicted, usually, and I'm not pointing blame or saying something. This is just... I'm just letting you know of what can help, are usually not happy. There's something they're running from, hiding from. Uh, There's a void in them that they're literally trying to fill with something else. And then maybe that's how it started, but now the pathways have channeled it for this direction and this is just their life. Dopamine, known as the happy pill, helps them feel like the world is not sitting on their chest and they can actually um, get through one day at a time. Because that's kind of how you've got to play this out at this point is one day at a time. But dopamine is what people are feeding and fueling for addictions. It's dopamine. Dopamine, if you're gambling, oh, the the excitement of it. 
um, when you take that first little bit of, sorry, I'm not swatting the air. There's a little bit of a fly there. <laughs> there's um, when you uh, um, first eat that bowl of ice cream or you watch a movie and, oh, it feels so good. That for a couple seconds, that intense level of just the world is a beautiful place is dopamine. And that's what the neurotransmitter you need to replace naturally on your own in your life instead of a substance of addictions. That's why you sometimes hear people, they just replace an addiction with another addiction. So yeah, sure, they're not doing this now, but now they're doing this. Right, because they haven't fulfilled the neural pathways and brought up the neurotransmitter of dopamine in their system. So um, they say that when you eat sugar, it raises like one spikes at one time in the brain. If you have sexual intercourse, uh, it, one and a half. Smoking almost brings it up to two, two and a half. Uh, and then substances like, um, I don't know, like cocaine or um, a little bit heavier and that kind of bring it up. And drinking temporarily brings it up. So that's why you get a buzz going and you feel really good. Nah, life is going to be okay. But then it crashes. And then you're forever trying to find that next level of dopamine to make you feel the way you were just feeling before. But it needs to be done naturally. L-tyrosine. I don't know anybody who can... No, who can get off an addiction, thing like that, without finding a way to substitute with dopamine. Doesn't mean you have to be a supplement. I mean, if you take L-tyrosine, it's gonna be in your system, so it'll help speed things up for sure. But that's why changing habits, lifestyle, mindset, naturally increases the dopamine level. So that's why you've gotta find the right thing that'll feed your brain and lifestyle to bring up the dopamine, so then you do not go, okay, well, I'm feeling in this pit, and then with a lack of dopamine, you go into this level of where the neurotransmitters or the pathways of the brain are doing it. And then all you see is the thing you're trying to not be addicted to. So you've got to make sure your dopamine levels are high. You've got good minerals. You've got chromium in your system. So the brain is sparking and feeling at the right level, but you're not going to have be overrun with all these cravings of things. Um, so you're not running from smoking to the ice cream bowl, right? Uh, but lobelia and golden seal are also herbal supplements that really help the whole system with uh, detoxing or so you don't actually go into um, a shut shutdown mode or a nervous breakdown as well too because the body does detox from things sometimes more heavily than other people do, right? Um, but other than that, there is something that we also provide which is called a nervous system reset therapy. And what that does is we actually run through your system, hit different uh, trigger spots down the spine that are releasing different endorphins to help fuel the neural uh, pathways of your brain so you don't get stuck in that down depressed state. There are things you can do. And I'm not saying, oh look, take what I just said and problem solved, you're not addicted anymore. No, no, no. Remember, everything I just said only even applies if the person is slightly ready and willing here to make that change. Uh, and again, like I said, and I truly believe this because I thought for sure it, I used to be the thing that, oh, but I got to do this for so long before this change happens. But it wasn't until I realized uh, from hearing somebody else say it, no, no, that change happens instantly in the brain. It might take you years to get to that state to actually have the brain go, whoa, this doesn't work for us anymore. This is not okay. Uh, and again, I just want everyone to know that I am speaking from experience of being the other person by uh, knowing what herbs do, um, seeing certain people be addicted to things and helping them through that as well too. Uh, just the science and the chemistry behind what these minerals do and what happens to your brain and dopamine levels when addicted to substances, gambling, just anything. Um, and how you've got to fuel and feed your dopamine levels with minerals and these herbs um, on your journey to getting off or helping recover from any type of addiction. Uh, I think that it's getting more and more dominant. Uh, every person you talk to, uh, there could be at least one family member that is actually suffering with an addiction that we didn't even real, realize about. Um, hopefully that was a good morning rant for you guys. Uh, we were just talking about it and I thought, nope, before I get my clinic day started here, I'm going to at least make that video because, um, again, all this, these videos are just tidbit information because one little thing, it could take one little thing that I say or that somebody says that hears it, and maybe this video was the video that was the last step that they heard that made them go, there's a change, it's time. So uh, it's Friday, I have everybody a wonderful Friday and uh, I'm gonna finish this coffee because like I said, I do love coffee. It's my addiction, I better get on some minerals. Okay, have a great day guys.